hey everybody welcome back to the podcast my view on the view where i make the views table relatable i take the table dynamics and i try to relate those to our everyday lives i got a short story i want to share with you about sunny and megan so come on in let's get started come on Well, welcome back, everybody. I enjoy y'all so much, and I'm so glad that you clicked play. Now, we're going to spend just a little bit of time together today, and this really isn't a big deal, but, you know, we're like family. A lot of us, we've been together for a long time. So when I was researching the other day, um, you know, just, you know, looking for stories to bring to you guys and just keeping up with what the women are doing behind the scenes... I saw something and I was like, oh my God, this is a perfect example of what I've been telling them, you know, that we really cannot, we really don't know what these people mean by saying we're friends, we're friends, we're friends, we're friends, because what we think of as friends, these people, I don't know what they're really talking about because it's obviously not a friend. Okay. And so Recently, and here's what I want to share with you guys. Recently, Sunny sat down with this New York magazine called The Cut. It's like a style magazine. And they went to her home there in Purchase, New York. And I will tell you that the photos from this uh, photo shoot at her home are gorgeous. Um, her and Manny are they just they are just a gorgeous couple. They have pictures of her puppies, and they're really not puppies anymore. They're they're huge. Uh, I mean, this was just a, be- this was just beautifully done. Okay. Now the title of this article is Sunny Hostin is more than just co-host of The View on Megan McCain, her Newfoundland puppies and the infamous COVID scare, COVID scare. And this was published in the cut November 11, 2021. So recent Veterans Day that we had here in the United States. So guys, let me scroll down here because like I said, this was very, very long because they weren't just talking to her. They were talking to Manny as well. And for those of you who want to know, she talks about you know, how she lost the weight gain, her COVID weight gain. She talks a lot about that. Okay, so um, this article was written by Evan Ross Katz. And he asked her a lot of things Um, But then he gets to asking her about Meghan McCain and Meghan's recent, you know, press tour for her book, Bad Republican. I want you to listen to the revelation that Sonny gives this guy about their, quote, friendship. Okay, because, again, this is a perfect example of what we talk about. So Evan tells us in this this thing, he says, you know, basically he starts embarking on asking her her thoughts about Meghan's recent comments that the view is disorganized and rowdy. And this is what Sonny says, and I am quoting, quote, Hostin says, the start, the start, the start of her friendship with McCain came around, listen to this guys, August of 2020. (laughs) Now they've been working together, I'm going to stop just for a second. They've been working together since September or October of 2017. And they were telling all of us, remember when Sunny went on, was it Seth Meyers show? I can't remember. We played the clip a few years back. Uh, Sunny and Megan both talked about how close they were, how they text each other all the time, how they're, they're just such good friends, you know, blah, blah, blah. And that this has gone on, that type of conversation to the public since 2017. And yet Sunny is telling this dude, they didn't actually start being friends until about August of 2020. So they were lying to us all that time. They were mis let me just say it this way, misrepresenting the real deal between their relationship, what their relationship was. Okay, so let's get back to this. So she tells him, our friendship started around about August 2020 when she moderated a talk for my memoir at the 92nd Street Y you know, the YMCA. Now I will say this. I remember this because I was actually supposed to participate. The virtual tickets were like 20 bucks. This was a virtual event. And I can't remember what happened. I think I had to work late that day. And so I just was too tired to, to participate online. And when I say participate, I just mean it wasn't going to be anything special. It was just, I was just going to be a part of the, the audience, you know, the virtual audience. But anyway, I distinctly remember this guy. So she goes on to say, Megan thinks that people did not like her or treated her a certain way because of her opinions. 
I certainly don't share any of her opinions at all about anything, but I don't feel that way about her. I can't claim to understand her because I think she's very complicated. Now, let me stop right there. Y'all know that's a nice way of saying she's crazy. Okay. That's what she's saying here in my view on the view. So first of all, let's just analyze that again. So all these years, they told us they were friends and that they get along perfectly. Anytime they do a press thing is we, we're friends. We get along. Megan's always saying Sonny and I are good friends. Sonny's like Megan and I are friends, you know, blah, blah, blah. And then she not only tells him about this August 2020, but she then says, I don't understand her because she's very complicated. How can you have a friend that you don't understand? I mean, it doesn't even make sense. Friends are people that you're friends with because you do understand them (laughs) and they understand you. That's called intimacy. We all know the word intimacy really means in to me see. That's what intimacy really is. And and this, you can have intimacy with with people uh, without it being sexual. We all know that, right? That's what platonic friendships are. Uh, opposite sex friendships, same sex friendships. So intimacy just means you allow people into you. You you don't hide yourself from them. You don't hide who you are. You 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 share your thoughts, your feelings in an honest way. You you share who you are in an honest way, and they do the same. That's what makes a friendship what it is. And of course, the foundation of every friendship is is trust. Okay. So how can you say I have a friend, I'm friends with someone, but I don't understand them because they're complicated. No, that's an acquaintance. That's someone you worked with. You developed a working relationship with. It may have gone a little bit outside the job in terms of an acquaintance, meaning you text about things not job related, et cetera, et cetera. But this is not friends. She then goes on to say to him, Megan's experience is her experience. And no one can say that she didn't experience it that way because it's hers. Then Sonny says, I didn't say it that way, however, and I didn't experience it that way, the way she did. But I'm going to defer to her, uh, defer to her that she experienced it that way. If you'll recall, um, Sarah said the same, something very similar to this. When TMZ caught Sarah and Whoopi outside of the ABC doors. Now, I'm not going to take the time to play that because the clip is so grainy because they caught him outside and and, and it was just too much ambient noise to play. But basically, um, Sarah said the same thing. That's her experience. So it's her experience. So this tells me also that um, ABC has briefed all the women on kind of how they need to handle this press tour that Megan's been on crabbing about the show, tearing the show down, tearing down Whoopi and Joy. Megan and these women were, they were, none of them were friends. Just like, remember, remember I read to you, um, Megan's interview with Ramin Satuta. Y'all remember that when her, um, when her book excerpt first came out and then he interviewed her about that excerpt because it was trending. And she said to him, I really thought Joy and I were friends. (laughs) And she said, you know, she later found out they were not friends. So I I don't know what's wrong with these people, guys. I have no idea. Do you guys think it's just a societal thing where people just don't know what it truly means to have a friend or to be a friend? Do you guys think that's what it is? Or is it just a Hollywood thing? Like, I don't really get it. Um, It's like, you know, I recently had a conversation with someone who I considered to be my friend. I later realized they did not consider me to be their friend, but I didn't know that um, at the time, you know, but I was talking to this person and confronting them about some things that had, you know, some questions I had. And because I found out that they had kept something very, very serious, you know, um, uh, from, from me. And so we were just talking about that. And I asked them the question, "Do, do you not consider me your friend? You know, and so, you know, it really just reminds all of us that not everyone sees their relationship with you the same or they don't see it the way you see it or vice versa. And that when people use when they say, oh, yeah, you're my friend or I'm your friend, you really have to figure out what that person means by that. Or even if it's you, what you mean by that. But I will tell you, this was a great revelation to me because I actually believed Sunny when she went on these shows saying that she was friends with Megan. And now to find out she only says they became friends in August of 2020. Well, guys, listen, Megan left the show in July of 2021. 
So what, a year? <laughs> a year they were friends? I mean, it doesn't even make any sense. So guys, like I said, this really wasn't a big deal, but I was just really shocked when I saw this. I was like, OMG, what? So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. I will talk to you guys on the next podcast. I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride too. If you don't.